Hey everybody, this is Perch, and what do comic companies love to do? Get out of royalties. That's a, Now, you thought I was going to say entertain people, but I <laughs> know. <laughs> a picture in a family feud board, where it's like, uh, what do comic companies want? Survey says, entertain people. And, you know, <laughs> it's, nope, it's getting out of royalties. That's the correct answer. Um, getting out of royalties. All right, let's read this mail here. It says, hey, Perch. Hey there, hope you and your family are having a great and safe weekend. Not with me driving around uh, recording videos, that's for sure. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm very safe when I drive. I mean, as far as you know. For Superman's current War World story arc, they're changing Superman and all Kryptonians in getting their superpowers from Genesis Energy. Genesis Energy comes from the Source Wall, which Jack Kirby created for the Fourth World. It also looks like Genesis Energy can give Superman his superpowers under a red sun. Okay. What does this mean? Superman and the rest of the Superman family will get their superpowers in a completely different way than what Sagal and Schuster did, or intended. And Genesis Energy might get rid of Superman's weakness to the red sun. It remains to be seen if Superman, when powered by Genesis Energy, will still be weakened by green kryptonite. In other words, DC Comics will have fundamentally changed how Superman gets his superpowers than what Siegel and Schuster did, and get rid of one or more weaknesses that Siegel and Schuster gave to Superman. Superman will, more or less, be a completely different character than what Siegel and Schuster created. Legally, I think this is how DC Comics is trying to get out of paying royalties to the Siegel and Schuster estates. Do you think that powering Superman by Genesis Energy is a big enough change that no longer makes Superman the Superman we used to know? Thanks for listening. Keep up the good work. Uh, it wouldn't hold up in court, bl bluntly. I, if you changed his power source, the material value of the character, of the you know Superman shield, is you know the, the core to who Superman is. It 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 would uh, it it wouldn't do the trick. Um, you may, I, I don't know, maybe you could find a court that would agree with you, but I don't think so. I, I think it would be almost impossible to make that case. And on top of that, it wouldn't uh, actually help DC. If, if that was their plan, then they would have to get out of royalties, uh, you know, paying royalties for Superman for versions since this change. So any trade paperbacks, any right now they're selling the John Byrne Man of Steel uh, issues on Amazon. It's selling actually very well. Th that there would still be a royalty that would have to go there. If they do a movie, they would have to you know completely work toward the new origin. They couldn't uh, you know so I mean there'd be a there'd be a huge ton of changes um, that uh, they'd have to make before they could kind of break that, and it wouldn't help them retroactively. If they change the character, they wouldn't be able to say, hey, now we're going to print this John Byrne trade paperback or this omnibus and you don't get a cent. That, that wouldn't work. So I, I, I don't think uh, I, I, at this point, I mean, granted, they have made changes to characters in the past to get out paying royalties. But that typically happens when there's not a ton of back material for those characters. And it also is a kind of line in the ground, look forward approach where the companies know they're still going to have to pay you know, for the previous works, the previous versions of the character, they just can't pay forward. And in Superman's case, there's so much history, so much is established with that character, um, and it was such a, you know, it, there was so much legal work that went into the agreement that they did get, um, I, I, don't think, uh, I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think this would do it. And definitely in this case, just changing where his powers come from and potentially some of his weaknesses? Uh, probably not. And by the way, I don't think this is going to be a permanent change. I think that this is going to be one of those things that kind of you know heals or recovers Superman, or who knows, and and that uh, or they'll come up with something like if you, if I keep relying on this source wall energy, then it causes me to grow a horn in my head or lose my penis or something. Like there there will be something in there that like if Superman's like, well, I can't rely on this energy. And uh, this can be a backup that, you know, happens down the road. It's like one of those unique power aspects, like shooting rainbow uh, you know, clones, midgets of himself out of his fingers. That is a Superman power that, because of the Omniverse, still exists somewhere. The Linearverse, sorry. So, you know, I, I don't think it matters, I guess is my point. Uh, it's not going to get them out of paying royalties. Not this change. And in general, 
with Superman, it will be very hard for them to make enough changes to convince a court that it's a substantially different character. Um, it, it, almost impossible. Now, I liked where your head's at, or in the sense of, I understand where your head's at, because if DC could come up with some way to screw those guys out of royalties, they 100% they would do that. They would push that button and not stop pushing it. Same thing with Marvel. If Marvel could come up with some kind of clever way to you know, get out of paying you know, royalties to various things they've done. They, they absolutely would do it. Uh, it makes me laugh a little bit. Disney's like, uh, you know, our, our, what is it? What are they calling Jack Kirby? Our, you know, legendary Imagineer. I mean, they're, they've given us some fancy title, like a visionary, a, a Disney visionary, something like that. They've given him some title. Of course, after he's, he's died, because that's the way it works in comics. After somebody's died, then we say nice things about him. We fuck him over before they've died. But, you know, after they've died, then, you know, they're all wonderful. I can't wait to... See, well, no, actually, let me back away. I can wait on this. But what will be interesting is when Warris, Warren Ellis dies, you're going to see the, the most flowery, like this band was a legendary creator from the same people who are saying he should never write comics again in his life because he, uh, you know, he, he tried to hump a younger girl, you know, using his, uh, hey, baby, I'm a comic artist. Don't you want to, I can, I, I may be able to get you a job if you just stroke my beard. Anyway, yikes. Um, all right, there you have it. No, I don't think, uh, I don't think it would do the trick and, um, it would be a very, it'd be a very hard thing to, to, to prove basically is, uh, is what I'm saying here. So, uh, you know, what are some cases where this would be possible? Um, you know, I, I, I think, uh, I think Marvel would look at that for some of the newer, you know, new-ish characters. Um, I think, uh, you know, I'd heard talk a while back that they were they were thinking about doing something similar to Deadpool. Um, don't I think that one would be also hard to accomplish? Uh, they, but but it, put it this way: if you're going to try and change a character, and this is something that I think is misunderstood uh, by a lot of people, um, if you're going to try and change a character in an attempt to duck paying royalties, then it's, it's not, it's just not easy to accomplish that. You've got to, you've got to fulfill several conditions. It doesn't help you out retroactively. Uh, you are taking a chance that, you know, the person you're talking to is going to be like, uh, F you, um, you, you, you know, we're going to court and then you got to spend, you know, whatever money you think you're saving on royalties. Now suddenly you're spending on lawyers. I mean, I just, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot in there. And I think in the end, you, you don't accomplish anywhere close to what you hope to accomplish. So it's it's better just to suck it up and pay what pay people what you agreed to pay them. That's uh, that's the better. That's always the better answer. Uh, but uh, you know, what do I know? Not much. Anyway, uh, there you go. What do you think? Do you think this uh, recent change in Superman's powers and everything else is a elaborate trick uh, to duck paying royalties? Uh, by the way, I don't, when I say it that way, I'm not saying it like condescendingly, like, listen to this dumb asshole. No, no. I mean, again, comic companies will do all kinds of things to get out of paying, you know, what they owe. So no doubt about it. You're not going to, you're not going to hear me say, you know, like Marvel and DC would never do something like that. They're as clean as a driven snow. They care about creators and everything they do, like fond memories of their family. Why working in comics is like having a second family. It is. You know that that's there. No, the comic companies are would would absolutely pee on their own grandmother if they thought it could save them a buck. But in this case, it it wouldn't save them. Now it is possible, by the way. I guess I'll throw out there that uh, somebody at DC is stupid enough to think that this is going to actually uh, you know do do something for them. But I mean that that again that would be that would be pretty stupid. Uh, but you know I <laughs> let's it wouldn't. We, we can't we can't put it out of the realm of possibility. Anyway, there you go. Let me know if you d agree, disagree, whatever you think in the comments below. And thanks for listening. <laughs>